Hey, happy Canada Day. Participating in this tribute has really got me thinking about how I experience being Canadian. Most of my school years were spent in Germany where I attended Canadian schools. And from coast to coast to coast, all of Canada was represented, both by the students and the teachers, who brought with them and imparted to us the cultural nuances of their home provinces. I don't know if it was unusual, but much of what they taught us was through music and song, and most of what I retained was actually what I learned through music and song, a song that eyes the body that builds the boat. Here's a few verses. Well, I don't want your maggoty fish, they're no good for winter. I can buy as good as that down in Bonavista. Hip your partner, Sally to Bo, hip your partner, Sally Brown. Bo go to Lindy Thornton's Harbor all around the circle. And those two, well, those four lines of the song, I actually learned a fair bit about Newfoundland. I remember it to this day. Some key geographic locations, its primary industry, a little bit about food security, maritime life, and I also learned that there was a population that comprised both French and English speaking settlers. Our French teachers used music a lot too, as a way of teaching us vocabulary, conjugation, and of course history. Like this well known song about a Canadian exile after the Lower Canada Rebellion. A Canada Mom and Dad taught me a lot about Canada too, and I love their stories about their youth in the prairies. My mom particularly cherished the year she broke loose of her rigid Mennonite world to take on a job as a nanny and housekeeper for a wealthy doctor and his children at their summer cabin. At Lake of the Woods she learned how to swim and paddle a canoe properly. Uh, this song makes me think of her love for the beauty and the wildness she told me about. My dad was born in Duck Lake, Saskatchewan, and he told me things they didn't teach me at school, like the history of Louis Riel, Batoche, and the Northwest Battalion. He told me about the grinding poverty of the dirty thirties and Bennett buggies and life on the farm, but most of all he waxed eloquent about the prairie crocuses and the banks of the North Saskatchewan River. I think we'd have liked this tongue-in-cheek song by the arrogant worms. Well, I used to be a farmer and I made my living fine. I had a little stretch of land along the CP line. The times were tough, but though I tried, the money wasn't there. The bankers came and took my land and told me fair is fair. I look for every kind of job, the answer always no. Hire you now, they always laughed, we just let 20 go. The government, they promised me a measly little sum. But I've got too much pride to end up just another bomb. And then I thought, who gives a damn if all the jobs are gone? Well, I'm going to be a pirate on the river Saskatchewan. And it's a heave. Ho! <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> On the river Saskatchewan And it's a heave Hi Coming down the plains Stealing wheat and barley And all the other grains And it's a hey Hi Farmers bar your doors When you see the Jolly Roger On Regina's mighty shores You see the Jolly Roger On Regina's mighty shores As an adult, music continues to inform me and widen my perspective through Canadian artists like Tim Huss and Ian Tyson. Their poetry and their humorous insights really help me appreciate better how they and how others experience Canada. In closing, 
whether by coincidence or divine appointment, and I am pretty sure it's by divine appointment, my Canadian experience is happening live and unplugged in the beautiful Nicola Valley. <laughs> Have a good one. Happy Canada Day, eh?